Hello, today I'm gonna talk about virtual private servers or VPSs and how you can set up one as a hacker. Uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial and a quick introduction to VPSs and what kind of VPS do you want for your situation. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're already familiar with the VPSs. It's just a private server that you can manage from your computer from anywhere you want. You can access it at any point of time and it has stuff like public IP address and it's always running. So uh, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you are already uh, uh, like familiar with the VPSs and you know what kind of purpose you want your VPS to uh, serve. So uh, the first VPSs that I'm going to talk about are if you just want a public IP address and you don't want anything fancy for like advanced automation or advanced tools to run and you just want a little kind of uh, small cheap VPS to have a public IP address. So if you go to this website lowandstock.com you can find a lot of different VPSs that you can purchase for really really cheap so as you can see there are even free ones or for two dollars per year and that's just very very cheap and you can see they have like five these free ones have like 512 megabytes of ram so that's not much but for a free vps that's a very large amount i'm not actually sure what are those free options you can probably have them just temporarily i don't suppose you can have them for uh, running 24 7 just for like a few hours and uh, if you go a little bit down you can see a little more expensive ones like 12 dollars per year but that's really cheap compared to other solutions they of course they don't have much ram or a good cpu but you can just run them 24 7 as a public ip address and just have a server if you want to receive like callbacks if you're testing for like stuff like blind XSS and uh, I don't know any other blind stuff that you just want to get a call back to your server or just have a public IP address it's always convenient so uh, that's for the cheap like uh, VPSs to just have a, a server on so that's it for the cheap VPSs that you just want to have as a public IP address. Now moving on, if you want something a little bit better, I'm gonna suggest you two options, but you can always choose whatever you want because uh, some providers have like, uh, are really strict while you're doing hacking. So for example, they don't like when you are scanning networks with them. If you're doing bug bounty, you're gonna do a lot of scanning with your VPS. If you just want one for public IP address, any solution is fine. You can just go with the cheapest one uh, that you are sure it will run for like uh, without stopping and without downtime. So uh, the options that I am gonna talk about here is this Quantaboo VPS or DigitalOcean. You can choose, uh, the, there's, like, like I told you, there's a lot of different options. Uh, but I heard, uh, I've asked a lot of hackers and I've heard a lot of people use these. And uh, I've also used Quantaboo and DigitalOcean myself. And this video is going to be on DigitalOcean because they have a free uh, trial. I'm gonna give you my this my referral code to the, the description and you're going to get free $200 to try the site with for free and as you can see I'm also using a free trial right now uh, so this is just for the video and Contabu uh, I like it because it's very cheap as you can see it's only $11 per month or 16 gigs of RAM, 200 SSD, and 32 terabytes of trapping, which is a lot. And I've this uh, VPS is used by a lot of hackers. So if you want like a little bit more advanced VPS, go with uh, Quantaboo. And I suggest starting with the cheapest possible VPS and just move on to uh, the one that you uh, think when you think that the VPS that you're using at the moment is too uh, weak for you and you want more resources. 
So uh, that's for the VPS lock I suggest myself. Of course, like I told you uh, already, there are a lot of other options. Uh, so if you go to the description of this video, you're going to find a DigitalOcean referral, referral code. This one, I'm going to share it uh, there and you can just sign up for an account and try the digital digital ocean with me so if you want to go ahead and spin up a free vps for like two months because you can see uh, there are credits for two months 200 dollars it's uh like if you want to try it i suggest you go ahead and go to the description and spin up a vps yourself so now i'm gonna talk about how to set up a vps and what uh, specs and everything you should use so I'm gonna create a new project on my DigitalOcean account here and I will name this project just video for the video description is not going to matter on purpose uh, I'm gonna just say that it will be uh, just other whatever I don't really care and detail uh, that's not important I'm gonna create project here um, move resources skip for now i don't really care about that and uh, to start a new vps you're just going to click on spin up a droplet uh, droplet droplet is just a naming convention for digital ocean to naming their vps they're naming their vps as droplets so click on spin up a droplet here and you're going to be redirected to this page to create a uh, vps so first of all you will have to choose a region and I suggest choosing a region that is the closest to you. In my case, I'm gonna do London because it's the closest one to me. Uh, then moving on, we are going to choose an image. You can uh, go to the marketplace and find more images. I'm just gonna, for, for this tutorial, for this purpose, I'm just gonna use Ubuntu. Uh, you can also use Debian for hacking. It's uh, I like more Debian but I'm using Ubuntu at the moment for my VPS. Uh, it really doesn't matter at all, uh, but at the marketplace, I believe they had Kali Linux previously, but if I search for it now, uh, I am not sure I'm finding anything for Kali Linux. These are not Kali. So I'm really not sure what is happening here. Do they have Parrot? Let's see. I haven't actually, no. So uh, I think they have Kali and Parrot, but they for some reason deleted it. Maybe they don't really like uh, uh, people using their services for hacking. Uh, but I've heard that they are pretty chill about uh, scanning and doing stuff like that. As long, of course, as you are in legal boundaries. So I'm just gonna use Ubuntu for this tutorial. And now uh, for the uh, specifications and for resources. So. Uh, I'm gonna choose just a regular SSD and for this video I'm gonna do like six dollars per month because uh, I don't really uh, like you can choose whatever you want here but as you can see just for a comparison on DigitalOcean we will have 48 dollars per month for these eight gigabytes or CPUs 160 gigabytes of SSD and five terabyte transfer so uh, that's not very cheap, but if you are planning to use your VPS for like, if you're gonna scale with the VPSs and use for more advanced stuff, DigitalOcean is a very great option for you. Um, and of course, because it's free, you can just try it out and just cancel your uh, trial or subscription or whatever, and just delete all your VPSs. It's not going to charge you anything. So just for this tutorial, I'm gonna choose this $6 per month, which has one gig of RAM, one CPU, 25 gigs of SSD, and 1,000 gigabytes of transfer or one terabyte. It's going to be enough. Then for connecting, uh, I always like using SSH key. So I'm gonna show you how to create one. Go to your Linux. I'm gonna use my WSL installation here and type in SSH keygen. Uh, ssh dash keygen and then uh we are going to generate a, a ssh key so to name i'm just gonna enter a file so dot slash uh video uh, digital ocean like that passphrase i'm just gonna do no passphrase 
uh, no passphrase again and it's generated as you can see we have this private key and this public key so uh what do you want for setting up a vps here click on this new ssh key button if you want to sign up with uh, if you want to create a vps with ssh key if you want to use password you can just go here password and enter a password uh i'm gonna use an ssh key so first of all we have to paste in the public ssh key of the content so i'm just gonna cat video digital ocean dot pub and it's your public key let me copy this public key here and then I go back to my digital ocean and just paste the key content then for the name i'm just gonna name it a uh, video uh, tutorial like that and add ssh key we have added our SSH key to the DigitalOcean. Now moving on, we have these recommended options. And I suggest you uh, turning on this uh, improved monitoring and alerting. So this is just going to be for a little bit more uh, security. Uh, and you can click on advanced options and see here. Uh, we are not going to interact with these at the moment. Uh, quantity going to be one do uh, droplet is going to be fine hostname uh, it's it can be whatever i'm just gonna leave default and everything else will be default so essentially we are just creating a vps and uh, uh, yeah so so just go ahead and click on create op droplet here at the bottom and your droplet is going to be created in just a second so now uh let me talk about uh, a little bit about VPSs. So uh, it is we are living in a world with a lot of hackers. And if you're watching this video, you're a hacker as well. So it is really it really should be your priority to secure your Docker, uh, not Docker, to secure your virtual private server as good as good as possible. Uh, so you should. Uh, do a little bit of uh, research on uh, securing VPSs and how to make them secure and try to not make any mistakes like exposing vulnerable services to the internet and uh, stuff like that. So I suggest you after watching this video go ahead and uh, uh, learn a little bit about cloud security because people are always scanning your servers as I am going to show you in a moment here. So uh, let me just go ahead and click on this droplet, which is going to be our, uh, which is going to be our VPS, and copy this IPv4 address here. And you can you can if you want to just access the VPS, you can click on the console. It's going to click uh, open a new Google Chrome console here. It's going to connect to the droplet and here we go i am con now connected to my vps and i can do anything here that i want uh, so that is just uh like the web interface through your web browser but i always like using management software so the one that i really really enjoy is this uh, uh x moba x moba term right moba x term so if i'm gonna go to my chrome and type in MOBA X term to my browser. And here is the MOBA X term. You can just download it for free. Click on get MOBA X term now. And then download now for home edition. It's going to be perfectly enough for you. And on the MOBA X term, I like uh, just add this uh, VPS here. Click on a new session. Wait for it to load. Click on SSH because we are connecting through SSH. Advanced SSH settings. Use private key. And then select the private key that you have created here. And I have created this video digital ocean uh, private key. This is our public key as you remember. And this is the private key. Uh, click on the private key and click on open. Then click on OK. Oh yeah. And we have to also of course fill in the remote host. So let me just copy the IP address of my droplet here. I've copied it and paste in remote host. Click on specify username and it will be root because we are connecting as root port 22. It's fine. Click on OK. And we are connecting to our droplet. To accept all the requirements, click 
accept here. All right. And now we are connected to our droplet. So, uh, and one thing uh, that I want to talk about also is in VPS, you should all always use a manager like Tmux here. So if I type in Tmux, I'm going to uh, open my Tmux session. If you don't know what Tmux is, I have created a video. So if I'm going to go to youtube.com slash zero day gym and then go down to my videos and I, the first video that I have uploaded is the only Tmux tutorial you will ever need for hackers. So uh, you go ahead and watch this video uh, to learn about Tmux. Essentially what Tmux does is just creates this session that we have here and we can, we can detach from it and reattach later. So because you're on VPS, it's very good to use because if I'm gonna close this mobile X term and click on yes here, then go back to the digital ocean and for example, open console. Uh, if I connect to it from another place, from another ist instance, I will not have any progress that I made uh, when I was using the VPS uh, previously. So if I type in Tmux A to attach, attach to my session, I am back here in my uh, terminal that I was just using previously. So if I type in, for example, uh, ping, I'm just gonna ping Google, right? So I'm pinging it from my uh, browser. I'm gonna close my browser now, go back to Mobex term, uh, then go to my sessions, connect to this VPS that I have created for video, Tmux A to attach, and we are still pinging the server. So it's always running. So now uh, for the public IP address, if you want to obtain a public IP address, go back to your VPS, uh, your droplet settings. And if you see this reserve IP, click on enable now. And this is going to give you a public IP address. Click to assign to droplet and add a reserve IP to this droplet. It's assigning the IP address. And it is now done. So if I go back to my video project and uh, go back to the settings of the uh, droplet, oh no, uh, go to the droplet right here, and we can see this reserved IP. So if I, for example, create uh, index.html and just fill in the base, some basic HTML tags, HTML body, and then for example, uh, subscribe to zero day gym here. Right, and I'm gonna save it. Uh, I'm gonna create a www directory and move index to www, cd www, and then stand up a Python listener, http.server, port 80. So I'm gonna copy this reserved IP address, go to my browser, paste it in, and I'm gonna magically end up on my VPS. And uh, something is wrong here. So let's see why is it not working? Because it's going to HTTPS. If I go to HTTP, it says subscribe to Zero Day Gym. And we have a public IP address that we can access from outside of our network. So that's it for the VPS video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to create a VPS. If you want to try out for yourself, please make sure to go to the description and use my referral code to try out uh, DigitalOcean for two months for free. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.